guess the first instrument would have been the piano. Uh, my mom signed me up for lessons when I was little. And then I quit after three years. And then I think the next one was a trumpet. And then it went to the tuba. And then marching band. And then, uh, yeah, after that, somewhere in there, the guitar. When I was in like early high school, I think. First instrument I actually technically played ever in life was the trombone in uh, the fifth grade. I first started playing guitar when I was 14. I believe that was the first time. This is White Wolf T-Shirt. Band members Adam Norris, Nick Somers, and Mitch Jordan joined forces in 2009 with the purchase of a simple 8-track recording device. Since then, the band has performed shows at local music festivals and venues across Omaha. Their unique stage presence only accentuates the band's creativity and musical talents. Adam and I started mixing around, messing around with noises and sounds and music and stuff with it for a few months probably over a course of a winter and then started playing live shows and joined Mitch on. Music for me is very therapeutic. It's, I feel like it's really the one main thing in life that has you know, helped me to connect with the people around me. All of my songs, that at least I record, start with some sort of one track that goes all the way through the whole song keeps the beat, and keeps the tempo, and then everything else I put after that usually isn't what I had in mind when I wrote the first part, but it builds the rest of the song off of one part. Music can be seen as a form of expression, and White Wolf T-shirt is no exception to that idea. Uh, it allows me to get out some emotions that maybe you wouldn't want to talk about, but you could use in a different kind of literary sense or put your emotions through a character or a song or something. The band creates a sound that is influenced by their own personal taste in music as well as their own ideas. Really love Ween. I've listened to him for a long time. I'm not sure. Wasn't really sure if these two ever listened to him. But anyway, like, I have never really listened to Ween very much. But I've just always been wanting to have a band where I can do like whatever genre I kind of feel like it, and these guys would be on board with it. So yeah. yeah. There have been some unforgettable shows since the band formed three years ago. I would probably say the Pizza Shop show we played uh, after last Love year, Fest. maybe two years ago after Love Fest. We opened up for The Scene and some other band. Uh, Betsy Wells was Betsy on that Wells. show. Also playing in Kansas too, was at my cousin's yeah, uh, compound. Just, they had a whole was, room set up, it was gorgeous. And it's like, you know, full kit, a lot of other drums, amps, and multiple keyboards and turntables and mics. It was just about a collective of like 10, about dudes, well, just, we, yeah, we played music for a good <laughs> seven, seven hours. hours. Yeah, we just played. This has been Kyle Opliger for Inside Art. Take me